new segment, one of the many things we have planned, where we rank top 10 things, songs, everything that you want us to rank and everything that we want to rank for your pleasure. K-pop related, obviously, and Korea related if you want to. So for our very first video in this segment, we decided to rank the top 10 songs we listened to the most in Korea either because we wanted to or because they were played everywhere. Most of them were played everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I mean they are all great songs but they were literally everywhere. We couldn't escape them at all. And if you want to feel like you were there in the summer in Korea, just listen to those 10 songs or, well, there are a bit more than 10 songs, on repeat and you will know what we have listened to most of the days. <laughs> it was literally almost everything that was played in the stores. Yeah. It, it, there were maybe 15 songs in total. It and then more. some random German techno. <laughs> that happened once, and we were very confused because we didn't even know the song, nope. but it was there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, without um, going further into detail about that song, here are the top 10 songs we heard this summer in Korea. Yeah. Starting with. Those are not ranked in any order. No. Yeah. Uh, but starting with Five by A Pink. It was. It was that was one of the songs that was literally everywhere. Yeah. But they were all they yeah. All were. yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that one was especially Yeah. And it's consistent. a song Yeah, and it's a song if you listen to it a lot and you're not in the mood for it, it gets stuck in your head. Mm. And then you like it's not even playing anymore and you feel like you're still listening yeah. to it. And then you wake up at three AM and it's still in your head. It's it's it's, an, it's great. Yeah. It's a good song, but it's it just, is, but it's very like, it sticks it sticks. Oh god it does. Yeah. For days. Then, okay, so our second song is not really a song, but it's more like basically every single song that was on Produce 101 was in the stores and never was there especially often, but just all the songs, they were everywhere and then when we were there when 101 released their album and then those songs were everywhere also and we can't really say which song was played the most because they were all everywhere, so Produce 101 is now a song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, one more thing that we count, like it's two songs, but we count them as one, uh, are the new releases by Mamamoo. So, Yes I Am and H Gang, because they were everywhere as well. And they, they like, I think H Gang especially, we listened to for the first time in the store or something. We were yeah. like, oh, this is good. It sounds like Mamamoo. It is it Mamamoo. It is Mamamoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was great. Then there's uh, Why Don't You Know by Chonghua, which is on our list, I think, the song that screams summer song the it's, most. Yeah. It's a great summer song, yeah. It's, yeah, but it was everywhere and she's not even that, like, most of the other people we have on this list are really well-known artists and this is yeah. why they are played a lot, but I think her song was just a summary yeah. that it was there yeah. and played a lot too. True. And then another very, very summery <laughs> song is Red Velvet's Red Flavor. That was also, yeah. It, it stuck with us in our Noderbank sessions, in our oh. karaoke sessions. It was a great summer song as well. And it was singable. Most of the um, Red Velvet songs are hard. Yeah. Because they are super fast. And but very then, high. Yeah. But then uh, Red Flavor was pretty good. Mm. You, can, you can definitely sing that. Another song that um, I listened for the first time in the store was Winners Really Really. Because ever since my favorite left winner. I was kind of sad and I didn't really listen to their stuff. But this holiday I decided to give it a try because I was forced to. And I really, really like the new stuff. Oh, I see what I do. No. <laughs> um, yeah. no, but it, it is a pretty great song. It's got that reggae vibe, yeah. but really, really is on the side of songs that if you get them stuck in your head, they don't go away. No. They, they, no. So you sit down somewhere and you're like, <laughs> yeah. Also, for some reason, it became a huge summer hit, even though yeah. it wasn't even released in summer. It was released earlier, but yeah, it was a huge summer hit. It was. It was everywhere in Korean stores oh, God, for yes. a long, long time, <laughs> and it probably still is. Pro probably, yes. <laughs> uh, staying in the YG area, there was like the last time by Blackpink, um, and we heard it a lot too. We heard all of the Blackpink songs a lot, since they're really good songs, they but are. that one was yeah, all around. It was hyped. 
And then still staying with YG, another song oh God, that yes. was everywhere was <laughs> Actor Musician's Dinosaur, which is also a really fun summery song. But it is sad. It somehow, is some, somehow it's like sad. melancholic. It's yeah. <laughs> another well, we're, we're cheating here. It's like a top ten song thing, and if we had to name a song, it would be The Eve by Axo. But the whole album, except <laughs> for Coco Bob, was played everywhere. We heard Coco Bob a few times, but compared to all the other songs from that album, we heard it very little. And we, we don't know why, but the Eve was probably played the most besides some other songs yeah. from the album. Axel were everywhere. Yeah. It was released right when we got there, I think. Yeah, yeah that's so. true. Yeah, Exo were everywhere, Coco Bob wasn't, no. for some reason. <laughs> which, which is sad because it's so summery and yeah. it's a great song and we love it, but... Yeah. But we love the whole album. Yeah, so. it's, it's a great album. And then here, as we said, this is not a ranking, but the most played song that we listen to. <laughs> the number one of the songs you should go and listen right now to is Ed Sheeran's Shape of You. Yes. yes. We listen to this song at least once a day. Wherever we went, we didn't play it on our own, but it was there. Actually, we also played it on our own because we love it so yeah. much. Yeah, but still. But we wouldn't have had to because it was everywhere anyways. Yeah. I guess it's like Despacito is for the rest of the world. I, I yeah, so. I <laughs> said <laughs> so. Shame of you is like the I Despacito think we got the, for Korea. <laughs> I guess yep. we got lucky on that one, I think. Yeah, it yeah. was a, like, I think this is the first time I've heard a song this much in, a Korean, in Korean stars and didn't get sick of it. Yeah, yeah. true. And also you had all kinds of weird cover versions. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Too. Like not just one cover version, but several ones. Everybody covered it. Yeah, they have like yeah. acoustic versions, girl versions, all of the versions. They were there. Slow versions. Slow versions. Fast Fast no versions. versions. No ver <laughs> they love this song. Yeah. As do we. Yes. And this is our list. So if you want to think about the last days of summer, I think autumn has already started, but it's still pretty summery. In our hearts. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it is summery these days. It's we have another warm week and then full on winter. Let, let, let's yeah. say it's sunny. <laughs> it's 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 not really warm, but at least it's sunny. Yeah, but yeah, you can already feel like... that winter's coming. Mm -hmm. So. Winter's See coming. what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm on fire today. What we thought would be a nice idea is for all of the top ten song lists we do create we are going to make a playlist on spotify so we will link the playlist down below and if you want to feel like you're back in summer in korea you can just go and listen to it and that's it for our very first top 10 video we hope you liked it if you have any suggestions on what we should do top 10s about put them down in the comments below and we will try to fulfill your wish Exactly. And if you want to stay updated with us in general, head over to our Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Stalk us there, talk to us there, because we really want to interact with you guys. Ask about our summer in Korea, tell us about your summer in Korea if you were there too. If you have listened to any other songs, because we were stuck with 10 <laughs> songs apparently. <laughs> and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.